You have burning pain in the chest, between the ribs, in the thoracic spine. If you have ruled out serious illnesses with your doctor, then it could be a thoracic spine blockage. I am Dr. Petra Bracht. I am Roland Liebscher Bracht. And together we are Liebscher and Bracht. And the exciting thing about these exercises is, if they help you, then you can assume that your pain is actually fascial or muscle related. Otherwise, it is important to actually see the doctor, and he will then check if there might be something else behind it. We will now show you two exercises because these problems usually have two causes. And the number one cause are shortenings here in the front area. And then there is the wonderful exercise in the corner. Petra, go into the corner. Sounds a bit strange, but it's well-intentioned. And please do not hold your arms horizontally, but a little bit upwards. Exactly at this angle. And when your hands touch the wall, you step back a little with one foot forward and a little back with the other. And then you focus on the upper end of your sternum. You move it as close as you can into the corner. Common mistake, the pelvis goes into the corner and then nothing happens during the stretch. So you always have to keep in mind, the sternum moves into the corner, but not your pelvis. And then it stretches nicely. Now let's get down to business. Let's take it slow again. But that's just not possible. If you do this correctly, then you will immediately feel where the muscles are being stretched. Where do you feel it? I actually feel it in the large chest muscle. I can also feel it in my arm because I did strength training yesterday and I have a bit of muscle soreness. So one feels everything completely there, where it is stretched. Chest, shoulder you can feel all the way into the elbow. Some even say that it extends to the fingertips. With me too right now. Through these muscular fascial connections there, keep it up for two and a half minutes. Always stay below the threshold where it is no longer tolerable. It must still be comfortable pain. It must not be so intense that it causes pain and you have to stop the exercise or something. That would be too much. Always stay below this threshold where it would switch from positive to negative. And then just two to two and a half minutes and afterwards slowly get up and move your arms a little freely and feel in. And what is very important when inhaling, first hold like this and when exhaling you go a little further forward. You can do this as long as these two and a half minutes last. Okay, and now come out, feel inside. Let me know how it feels. It feels so good. Yes, it just feels so good. Try it out. And you can understand that Petra says this because every time I want people to feel what stretches can do for them in terms of well-being, they can achieve it. After doing them, you'll think how nice and open, how nice and free everything is. And if you want to know exactly how a thoracic spine blockade can occur, then we have our explanatory video for you. And now on to the second exercise. The second exercise involves the respiratory muscle. You must know the breathing muscle, the diaphragm, practically tightens around here all the way back inside your body. And can trigger pain at all possible ends and corners here, is also often responsible for a so-called thoracic spine blockade. How can the diaphragm be released? By stretching it like all other muscles. Do you know what the main stretch is for the diaphragm? Exhale. And that's why let's just do it and feel into yourself. We inhale and blow everything out. As if you were trying to blow out a candle on your 100th birthday. You breathe very, very long. And it could be that when you exhale, because now the diaphragm is stretched, you trigger exactly the pain that is blocking you. And then you are already quite sure you are on the right track, it is due to the diaphragm. But even if you can't trigger it like that, it may be that if you've done it a few times, you'll feel total relief afterwards. And the exercise is simple, you breathe in 12 times deeply and exhale 12 times, but exhale so far until really nothing comes out anymore. until it is completely empty. That is a real strength training in the end. 
And the beauty of the exercise is that you not only stretch your diaphragm, but also do something for your digestive organs. Because people often have digestive problems, which may be reduced or even eliminated because the digestive tract also gets going. Again, straight back to the thoracic spine blockade and pain in the chest area. I just remembered this one patient who was with us, whom I treated, showed the exercises, and you have to know I'm used to the pain really subsiding very clearly. And with him it was a bit better, maybe from 100% to 80, 90, and then I already knew that something was wrong, and that's when I sent him to Petra. Tell me more. Yes, it was really exciting because the complaints were still there and then they increased again and I said, okay, something is not right. I immediately sent him to the cardiologist because I immediately thought of the heart and that's why it's important that if you have such a suspicion, you go to the doctor immediately and yes, four weeks later, this patient actually had four bypasses. And he had no idea about it, so because the exercise didn't work, we were able to do a differential diagnosis, which led him to go to the cardiologist and probably saved him. Yes, I believe so, because he had no symptoms before, and that is very atypical.